Live from Boston, this is 7 News at 6 on the news station. The Phenom has landed. Japanese picture Daisuke Matsusaka is on Massachusetts soil, landing just a few minutes ago with Red Sox management at Hanscom Field. And good evening, Daisuke. I've received quite a welcome from the local and Japanese medium. And quite a few fans were also on hand. Since Dan Housley is live at the airfield now with more. Dan? Well, John Henry's plane is just taken off. You can see the tail there with the red light off in the distance. But we can tell you, Daisuke has landed. And it was just about a half hour ago that John Henry's plane pulled up here. The door opened and out came Daisuke, the newest pitcher who is likely, we believe, to be signed by the Red Sox in the next 24 to 48 hours to anchor the rotation for the years to come. And the hopes and dreams of Red Sox nation rests on this young Japanese pitcher arrived here to a lot of fanfare, flying in from California with his agent Scott Boris and the translator Theo Epstein, the GM of the Sox, on the plane. And there you see, as he came by in his car, I'm yelling at him a little of the Japanese I just learned. Yoko so welcome to Matsuzaka, he seemed to be happy with that. The uh, rudimentary uh, Japanese, the smile from the Japanese pitcher who's got anywhere from 50 to $100 million of reasons to sign. This kid comes from the Cebu Lions, a pitcher in Japan where he made his mark as a phenom. The Red Sox willing to post $50 million, $51.1 million exactly, just for the rights to talk to him. And according to reports, anywhere from 50 to $60 million now to get him to sign on the dotted line. He is going off to take a physical, which is part of the deal, which has to be done by midnight Thursday night. But all indications with his agent coming here to Boston are that the deal is close or done. So we can tell you for sure, Daisuke is here. What we can't tell you for sure, but likely he is expected to be signed as a Red Sox in the next 48 hours. We're live at Hanscom Field. Dan Housley. Avenue. All right, Dan, so far at this point, no word of any deal. One is expected, though, and when it's all said and done, uh, we are talking, as we say, about $100 million plus. Seven's Joe Armasino is here now with the details. Joe? All right, this deal is as good as done. Daisuke's agent Scott Boris said all along that he would not bring his client to Boston unless they had an agreement in place, and Daisuke is here. Remember, the deal is not done until Daisuke passes a physical. They've pulled this thing off, though. Theo Epstein and Larry Lucchino are negotiating all night last night with Boris and convincing them to board a plane team owner John Henry's private plane for further negotiations on their way back to Boston. The agreement, roughly $52 million over six years. That's on top of the $51.1 million posting fee paid to Daisuke's Japanese team. Now, next stop for Daisuke, Mass General Hospital for that physical. Keep in mind, he must pass that physical and all paperwork must be complete by midnight tomorrow. For more on the money the Sox must pay to make this happen, 7's Duke Castiglione reporting live at Fenway. Duke. Joe, it's a whole lot of money, and as you said, a six-year, $52 million deal with incentives that could reach $60 million. So if we break it all down and we do the math, the Sox paid $51 million just to talk to Matsuzaka, then the actual contract, $52 million of guaranteed money over six years. At the very least, we are talking about $103 million the Sox will have spent when all is said and done at the end of this contract. So the posting fee plus the contract, we're talking an average of $17 million a year the Red Sox will have spent. Now, obviously, as you said, a physical still pending. We could have an announcement shortly thereafter. Remember, this could always hit a snag, the deadline, Thursday night, midnight, Eastern Standard Time. Live at Fenway Park, Duke Castiglione, 7 Sports. To you. All right. Thanks so much, Duke. A lot of money here, outrageous amount. So what do the fans think? Do they think it's worth it? The media just talks about what a great pitcher is. He has four or five different pitches and that he, uh, he knows how to get hitters out. We'll see if he translates to the U.S. All right, time for you to weigh in at home. Do you think Matsuzaka is worth the more than $100 million the Red Sox would have to pay for him? Log on to our website and tell us what you think. Our address is whdh.com, and we'll have the early results at the end of the show. The news station will stay on top of the Red Sox pursuit of the star pitcher. We'll let you know all the official details as soon as the information comes in. And we're following some breaking news in Lexington 5.